Welcome to Drinks Tube. I'm Sam Carter and I'm a gin professor. I'm an expert in gin and I love making cocktails with it. I'm going to show you how to make a sublime moment. It uses gin, pink grapefruit and vanilla. And when you shake all these ingredients together, you don't actually taste the grapefruit or the vanilla. It produces a flavour transmogrification, which means you should taste chocolate, which is amazing. It's perfect for you to make at home, for your friends, this Easter. So the ingredients to make this cocktail are gin, some freshly squeezed pink grapefruit juice, and some vanilla sugar syrup. Now, you can make it with bought-in vanilla sugar syrup, but I'm gonna show you how to make homemade vanilla sugar syrup. Get some lovely vanilla pods, and we're gonna slip them right down the middle. We're gonna use two of these, and then we're gonna scrape out the wonderful seeds inside. Into the pan these go. So we've got 500 grams of sugar, 500 ml of water, and two vanilla pods in there. That's infusing nicely. And we're just gonna to have to wait about 10 minutes and wait for that to go clear. And then we're gonna add the second 500 grams of sugar. So now that's gone clear, we're ready to add the other 500 grams of sugar. And again, this should take another five or 10 minutes or so for this to then go clear. You don't wanna over stir this, otherwise you'll make the sugar syrup crystallize and let the pan do its thing. Once it's all gone clear again, to turn the temperature off, we'll leave it for about three hours to cool down and really infuse all the flavors and then we'll take out those vanilla pods and that'll be ready to make the perfect sublime moment cocktail. So we've made our vanilla sugar syrup. It's cooled down for the last three hours and it's ready to be used. We're now gonna take our Boston glass and start by squeezing the grapefruit juice into the Boston shaker. We're gonna squeeze in 25 ml of that pink grapefruit juice. And I've got this neat little gadget here that I just screw into the grapefruit. You could just squeeze this in by hand, of course, or you could buy Carson grapefruit juice it's absolutely fine, works really well. Next up, we need 15 ml of vanilla sugar syrup that we made earlier, um, and on top of the grapefruit. And finally, the gin. And we want 50 ml of gin. So we've got our three ingredients in there. Next up, we want some ice. Fill it completely full of good quality ice. And then we add the, the tin part to the cocktail shaker, give it a tap and it holds it and then give it a shake. To get these apart, give it a karate chop and off it comes, simple as that. We use our Hawthorne strainer. I'm gonna use a fine strainer. I've just got a chilled coupe glass here. Pour the cocktail through the fine strainer and it goes. And we finish with the garnish. So I'm gonna draw the potato peeler across the top of the grapefruit and we get a wonderful curl and I'm going to cut it into a nice long leaf shape. Turn it over and I'm going to make a couple of incisions here with a knife. I'm going to take from the top corner all the way down to the bottom and then I'm just going to put another little cut just here. Take this longer end and poke it through that hole there. Bring that over the top. It's like a grapefruit peel origami and then just place it on the rim of the glass. And that is our perfect sublime moment. Wow, that's amazing. You don't really get the vanilla or the grapefruit. It's totally about the chocolate. That's incredible. Absolutely amazing. If you want to learn more about gin cocktails, then click on the button here and watch Jamie make the ultimate gin tonic or follow the link below. And then over here, subscribe to Drinks Tube and they're all about cocktails, beers, wines, and soft drinks. Cheers, enjoy.